In this video, I'm going to show you how to log transform data in SPSS. So I have some data already entered into SPSS at the minute, and these are just 10 numbers. And the variable that these are contained in is a variable called data. So to log transform data in SPSS, you want to go to transform, compute variable. So to start with, I'm going to log 10 transform this data. So this is where 10 is the base. So what I'm first going to do is enter in the target variable box the name of the new variable I'm going to create. I'm just going to call this log 10. And then my original variable is called data. So I'm just going to call it data. In the numeric expression box, what you want to do is to type in LG 10, open bracket, and then you want to enter the variable name that you want to transform. So my variable is called data and then close the bracket. And then finally you want to click OK to run the transformation. So as you can see, when you go back to the data view on the SPSS sheet, there has been a new variable added and this is the log 10 transform data. So that is how you can do log 10 transformations. But what if you want to do a log transformation with a different base other than 10? Now to do this, you want to go to transform and compute variable again. And in this example, I'm just going to show you how to do a log to the base 2 transformation. So my target variable, I'm going to call log 2 data. And in this instance, SBSS doesn't have a short way of applying a log transformation other than a 10 base. So to do a log transformation with a base of 2, you want to type in ln, which stands for the natural log, open bracket, and then you want to enter the variable name you want to transform. So again, mine's called data, and then close the bracket. And then you want to divide this by ln again, open bracket, and then this is where you enter the base that you want to use. So in this example, I'm going to use a base of two and then close the bracket. And then what you want to do is click the OK button to run the transformation. So now you can see that the third variable that's been created, this is a log to the base of two transformation of the original data. So that is how you can log transform data in SPSS. Mm -hmm. 